wazazi wale mko hapa tafadhali pelekeni watoto shule and you can see actually as challenged us sisi kama parents mtoto akaweza kupewa microphone hivi and is very eloquent then actually mzazi wake hakucheza naye naye pia akwaibisha mzazi darasani thank you so much gen z you are most welcome and by the way the truth of the matter remains you are the youngest hata sijaona kandevu kwako bado how old are you yes you will be turning 20 ah mwaka huu mwaka huu kenda kuisha ndo utafika 20 november ako 19 years of age by november ndio atakuwa na clock 20 years tumpatie makofi tena kijana asante sana young man thank you that is great and you maana wale wazazi mko hapa mtoto wako kama anatembea na, na mokore kwenda kupeleka vitu hapa na wewe ni mzazi take care of that you you, you got risk wewe yani anakuja tu lanje anarua tena anatoka na umulizi anaenda wapi na shule zimefungwa sasa hii hapana but thank you so much jenzi ameongea vizuri amesema actually leadership is temporary leo wewe ni kiongozi kesho wewe ni raia kashagu hakutumia uongozi vizuri yeye yeah, aliona tu kama ni ufalme Uh, kuna mtu aliniambia kashagu alipoenda kule kwao eh, Ruta ali, ali play a very funny role kwake immediately kashagu alikuwa so nini kama leo kesho yake akaenda kwao na kesho yake alipoenda kwao alienda na 12 moto kids pikipiki sita pikipiki sita hizo pikipiki huwa zinatengeneza ile kitu naita V kama mshaiona sasa hiyo V eh zikaingia Muranga a Nyeri Nyeri town akauliza Who am I? Watu wa Nyeri wakasema bwana you are the king. Kashoga I am the king. Tena msafara ukaenda siju kafika karibu na kijiji yao. Tena watu wameja who am I? I am you are the, you are the king. Sasa aliposikia ndio mfalme akaona amefanya nini? Amefika. Akafika kwa nyumba akauliza bibi yake. Who am I my wife? You are the king. Sasa kashagwa kamea pembe kuanzia hiyo si. Ndio kijana amesema hapa. Sitaki kwenda kwa mengi, nilikuwa tunaongezea uzito kwa ajenda ya kijana. Ah, uh, my brother, you're most welcome. Karibu onge, jitambulishe kwa majina. Hata kama uwezi ongea, jitambulishe tu tukujue because umekuja na what you from Kamkunji. Karibu sana brother. Ah uh, thank you thank you uh, thank you after the consultation nimejua the position ah uh, karibu sana my brother uh, kutoka kamkunji yeye yeah, tumekuwa na ye. na ni jamaa wangu mzuri sana and he understands more about politics kwa hivyo jitambulisha alafu tuelekeze kidogo kwa hizo agenda tumepeana asanteni mm. sana darajani oe oe darajani oe oe eh, leo nimefurahia kufika hapa siku ya leo kwa majina naitwa Omo Wiseman ukikuja huko unauliza Omo Wiseman kamkunyu utanipata so tumetembea na team huyo anaitwa Ogutu mwanarakati huyo ni Nyakwargor huyo ndio organizer wa hii team inaitwa Casa Poch Casa Poch in full ni Kibra activist for social administration we have a dancer na kwapo tuko na John then Ogola wa Kibra so juu ya time nitaenda faster tuendelee mbio mbio kwa sababu agenda ni kachagwa anaenda nyumbani. Unajua mimi nilijua tunakuja kuongelea vile tutaapisha kindiki. Kwa sababu mambo ya kachagwa tulimaliza kitambo sana. The moment tulimalizana na yeye Senate hiyo maneno iliishia hapo. Kwa sababu unajua ukiona gari hii gari ilikuwa inakimbia inaitwa Kenya Kwanza. Lakini haikuwa na mechanic yenye ilikuwa kwa hii gari alikuwa fake ndio maana Ruto akatafuta mechanic anaitwa Raila Amolo Odinga. So the moment mechanic aliingia hapo akaona shida kubwa ya gari sio driver ni huyu makanga. Akasema huyu jamaa anachukua pesa saa zile service ikifika amepotea na pesa. So ndio baba akamwambia kitu ya kwanza ufanye toa huyu makanga weka mwingine mwenye ataleta return. Ndio maana sasa tumeamua huyu anaitwa Rigathi Gashagwa ni makanga mwizi na ni makamba mkabila. Unajua ukiingia kwa gari gari ya inchi ambayo inaitwa Kenya. Alafu ukiingia kwa gari ameweka Inoro FM kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni. Customers wanaongeleshwa kikuyu. 
na customers ni wa Kenya wote tuko na kabila ya 42 na mtu anaongea kikuyu throughout so ilibidi mechanic aanze na yeye na wacha niwaambie leo unajua kuna kitu watu wengi wanaogopa kusema shida ya gashagu sio ukabila peke yake but wenye wanaelewa Raila Molo Dinga mnajua Raila Molo Dinga akiingia mahali anaingia kama co-president aingia ati bado Ruto atamwambia bwana yetu uone gashago so kitu ya kwanza ilikuwa gashago aende apende asipende si Ruto alienda tukafanya hapo na Matiang sasa yeye pia ilibidi tu aende ndio tupate mtu baba akiongea anaongea na Ruto direct wanapanga inchi ndio maana sasa tunawaambia leo tunajua saa hizi tuko na vacancy pale kwa interior Omwana wa Sara Ruto anafaa jue tumemsaidia. Juu kama sio Raila Molo Dinga, kama sio Raila Molo Dinga saizi angekuwa sugoi huko, anakusanya zile mayai yao kwa sababu msicheza na wakikuyu hii Kenya. Hao watu ndio wana run economy. Na wakisema unaenda my friend, they can mobilize resources na ujikute huko nyumbani. So tulimsaidia ye yeah, pia lazima lazima afanye nini? Arudishe mkono. Juraila akiingia kwa hiyo serikali alienda na 6.9 million Kenyans wenye walimpigia kura. Kwa hivyo tukiingia hapo kama 6.9 million na yeye alikuwa na 7.2, hii serikali inafaa tunagawa katikati. Inakuwa tu 50-50. Ndio tunaendelea. Na hii maneno ingine siyo yalitupea nne. Hizo nne haijatosha. Kwanza tunataka tuongeze hizi vitu ndio tukue 50-50 kwa sababu contribution yetu pia ni 50-50. So Ruto acheze kama yeye kwanza ananitelewesha sana. Unajua Ruto ni mtu naheshimu sana. Unapata mtu ukiangalia Raila Molo Dinga alikuwa na support ya Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta. Huyu alikuwa sitting president. Tulikuwa na kila kitu, tuko na system, tuko na deep state, tuko na sijui ya tuoli, kinoti, kila mtu lakini huyu jamaa ametokea sijui from nowhere akatuweka kona akatushinda asubuhi na mapema. Huyo sio mtu wa kuandaret. Hadi sasa Rigathi Gashagwa mwenye amekuwa kwa siasa for 7 years. Hadi anakuja kusumbua William Samoei Ruto. Saa zingine naangalia tu hivi naona tu. Huyu jamaa alisumbua Jirongo sijui akatoa nani, akatoa Moi. So tunaambia Rigathi Gashagwa yeye yeah, yake imeisha. So mambo ya koti tunaambia koti watu harakishie Tunataka kumalizana na hii story by next week tuanze kuongea mambo mengine. Nikimaliza washuka wacha tu niseme ya mwisho about term limit. Unajua hii term limit lazima tuambiane ukweli. Jo hata mimi ningekuwa MCA leo nisikie nataka kuongezewa miaka mbili. Mimi nafurahia mbaya mbovu. My friend kupata re-election hii Kenya you have to spend billions ama millions ndio upate re-election. Muda ikuambia na kuongeza miaka mbili utakata. Hata hao wabunge na magavanas ni kujifanya wanajifanya wanataka hiyo kitu iongezwe. So ni sisi wananchi ndio tutaamua inaongezwa ama isiongezwe. But ukiraigarega hivi hao watu watajiongezea tu na waendelee kwa sababu power is sweet. Tunasema power is sweeter than unprotected sex. Hiyo ni sweet mpaka saa hizi hauwezi achilia. Saa zile umeshikilia hivi hata mtu akwambie na kuongeza 3 days hata yachagua ukimwambia tukupe 6 months jamaa atafurahia mbaya so let us stand as kenyans tukisema hiyo term limit isiongezwe isiongezwe otherwise asante sana asante ah, sana thank you ah, tumpe makofi tena jameni asante ah, sana maongea